everyone's having a good day here. Uh, just wanted to kind of give a little bit of an overview of my TRX-6 that I got here. Uh, I've uploaded a few videos and not too many details on the build, so figured it was probably about time to you know, show off kind of what I got going on here. Um, it is a Traxxas TRX-6. Uh, it's the biggest, most obvious thing I got going here is the body. I know there's not a, too many choices out there for 6x6 six six bodies, so if you want something different, you kind of got to make it your own. Uh, what I did here, it's a J Concepts Creep body. I actually bought two of them, cut the beds, and... Uh, lengthened it. I know that that's been done many times before, but I like the look of it. It seems to be about the easiest route to go. Um, so I guess pretty much uh, from right behind the first wheel well forward is all one body. The second one I actually cut right behind the pillars left enough room on here where I could actually slide the second bed over top of the first one. A little bit of extra support there. And uh, used a little bit of styrene and a lot of E6000. Um, kind of sandwich it all together. It's nice and solid. I mean, it, it weighs just about as much as the factory body, but it's all a lot lower. Um, there was a horrible nasty seam all the way around I tried to my best to get rid of. I actually got some wood planks uh, for the bottom of the bed and the bed rails. And then uh, I just ended up putting grip tape over most of the body. It does a pretty good job of hiding the seam, but you can see a little bit here. And, on the insides and when you're out in the sun with the right lighting you can actually still see the seam up in here underneath the grip tape as well but definitely a lot better off than it was um, the stacks are actually wooden dowels from a foam brush um, just got a little piece of aluminum angle and some drywall screws holding them on so i mean they're good and solid as well the mirrors are just mirrors off of uh, Gen 8 I got laying around. Um, the scoop is actually from the RPM supercharger. Uh, thought about putting the whole supercharger on, but it stuck up almost as tall as the cab and just did not look right. So I just took the scoop off and put it on there. Um, she's had a couple pretty good tumbles. So that's why I've got all the extra paint globbed up in there making it look a little weathered and rusty. Um, yeah, got uh, just the two factory body posts holding it on up front as well as uh, four magnets here in the back. Um, I'd had to go through quite a bit more to get body posts through the back and it just makes a, a lot cleaner of a look without having any up there and i also didn't want to go full magnet because uh, anytime you take a tumble your body's going to come flying off so that holds it holds it together really well i'm pretty excited i like the way that this turned out it was the first time i've ever done any heavy body modifications so i'm i'm pretty tickled with it um, let's see, I've got, uh, I guess we'll go through the power system here. Got a Castle Copperhead 10 ESC, paired with a 2280 KV Castle motor. I've got a, uh, it's just an Amazon, one of the cheap 35 kg uh, steering servos. I've also got a... It was just a cheaper Amazon sound kit. I'd actually bought that for a drift car I had a few years ago and just didn't have the room for it under that body. So it just seemed like I had the room, seemed like a good fit. Uh, 
couple of the sound modes on there actually sounds pretty good um i've got uh these were i don't remember what brand these uh front four shocks were but they're cheaper amazon shocks the uh, rear axles shocks are actually stock gen 8 shocks um, and they are quite a bit softer which is what i wanted i wanted that rear axle to have almost no weight on it until it got to the incline where i needed some traction there but that works out really well um i right, circle back to the body situation here in order to fit this body you've actually got to cut away quite a bit of the inner fenders um took the sliders off and actually cut quite a bit of it's essentially still the inner fenders there um, and i've got uh, my sliders and rear bumper this is just some real thin uh, sheet steel with uh, I can't remember I want to say I want to say quarter inch 316 somewhere in there uh, steel rod and I just bent that and then braised it to that sheet steel for a little bit of extra support um, got some rock guards on here I took the front one off because it was hanging up on all kinds of stuff and these on the axles are also hanging up pretty bad so they'll probably end up coming off here at some point as well um, <clears throat> wheels and tires the wheels are a steel beadlock i also can't remember what brand those are off the top of my head but they were some of the cheaper wheels you can get on amazon Tires are Proline Hyrax. Um, they are the Predator compound, so they are super soft and grippy. They do really well on the rocks. Um, and then I've also got uh, Proline dual stage foams in there as well. So I believe that that is about it for the 6x6 here. Um, got any other questions on how I've done anything or anything else that I've got here uh, <clears throat> just leave me a comment I'll get back to you very small starting out here with the YouTube thing so chances are if you leave a comment you'll you'll get an answer of some sort um, but yeah so that's it for that I do have a Wraith 1.9 coming later on this week so i'll start a uh, a bit of a beer build series on that one and uh, i've also got quite a few things for the drz here if you're more into the dual sport side of things um got a whole slew of upgrades for that coming here before the riding season starts so hopefully I can find something to keep y'all entertained, help answer questions, just whatever. Any kind of input here with what you'd want to see, or like I said, any questions you got, feel free. Um, yeah, I, I think that that'll just about do it. Uh, I hope y'all enjoy at least a little bit. Um, Give me a shout and I'll get back to you. Hope y'all are having a good day. Later.